This is part one of a three-part series. Evolutionists will hate it, but they cannot dispute it with any real intellectual honesty. Let me introduce you to the evolutionists that you will hear from in this part one. We will be quoting from their own works. The quotes are in their proper context. Roger Lewin is a British anthropologist, a famous evolutionist and science writer for almost 30 years. He is the author of 20 books. Lewin was a staff member of New Scientist in London for nine years. He went to Washington, D.C. to write for the publication Science for 10 years as the news editor. Lewin wrote four books with Richard Leakey, one of his most famous being Origins, published in 1977. Alfred Russell Wallace was a British naturalist, explorer, geographer, anthropologist, and biologist. He is best known for independently proposing a theory of natural selection, which then prompted Charles Darwin to publish his own theory. Professor Robert Broom was a South African doctor and paleontologist. From 1903 to 1910, he was professor of zoology and geology at Victoria College in South Africa. Subsequently, he became keeper of vertebrae paleontology at the South African Museum in Cape Town. He was an ardent evolutionist. Now for the quotes. Alfred Russell Wallace was said to have, quote, found this argument of natural selection convincing until I attempted to explain the advanced state of human faculties. He also then concluded, quote, a superior intelligence has guided the development of man in a definite direction for a special purpose. Roger Lewin proclaimed of the gap between people and animals, quote, our intelligence, our reflective consciousness, our extreme technological facility, our complex spoken language, our sense of moral and ethical values, each of these is apparently sufficient to set us apart from nature. Together they are seen to give us dominion over nature. He then adds that for evolutionists this gap is, quote, an embarrassment, something to be explained away. Alfred Russell Wallace, along with famous evolutionist Robert Broom, concluded, quote, Divine intervention was the only explanation for the origin of the qualities that made Homo sapiens so special. Wallace and Broom asserted, quote, We find humans' dominance over animals as utter and complete, making a common ancestry virtually impossible. Quote, the whole purpose, the whole reason for being of the world, was the development of the human spirit with the body. Broom stated, much of evolution looks as if it had been planned to result in man and in other animals and plants to make the world a suitable place for him to dwell in. And therefore, the evolution of man must have been planned by some spiritual power. Quote, I would give nothing for the theory of natural selection if it requires miraculous additions at any one stage of descent. Charles Darwin Well, Mr. Darwin, several of your own colleagues and supporters attest that natural selection does require miraculous additions. How embarrassing.